Hey guys, a lovely good morning to everyone. My name is Avinas and you're watching the learning destinations. So today I'm going to cover a very useful topic and the topic is how you can monitor your MySQL or the MariaDB with the Prometheus and the Grafana. Guys, this is the another coverage under the playlist of the monitoring sections and where I have previously already covered the installations of Grafana, installations of Prometheus and its integrations with the Grafana and in my last tutorial where I have covered how to monitor the Jenkins with the help of Prometheus and the Grafana. So if you haven't yet watched, you can visit the my playlist monitoring tool and you can watch these all latest coverage. And now today I'm going to cover how to monitor the MySQL or the MariaDB with the help of Prometheus and the Grafana. So guys, one more request, if you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. Now I am jumping into the today's agenda. Okay, so now quickly understand the today's agenda and in today's agenda, the first sections, I am going to show you that how we can install the MySQL D exporter. Guys, MySQL D exporter is an open source project which gives us facility to collect all database metrics and finally, we can publish it through the help of Prometheus server. Then after that, we will see that how we can configure the MySQL D exporter. So we can start as a service on our Linux node as like, uh, uh, as like, let me give you an example, how we start system CTL start HTTPD for the web server. In the same way, we need to configure for system D file so we can start it MySQL D as a service. After that, we can add this MySQL D exporter inside the Prometheus con file. So we can finally publish the data, publish the matrix through the Prometheus servers and we can query it from the Prometheus dashboard. Then we will start the Prometheus services. After that, we will add run few queries uh, like a MySQL DB and MariaDB matrix query from the Prometheus. And finally, we will prepare the MySQL MariaDB dashboard and add it in the graph now for better visualization. And finally, we will uh, run some queries over there. And in such a way, we will do the verification and testing. So now let's move towards the practical. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to start the practical sessions. And as I mentioned first, we need to install the uh, MySQL exporter and it is publicly available and you can download it from here. I'm just going to download it. Whatever the command as of now I am running, you don't need to worry it because I am going to mention all these commands under the description sections and you can take it from there. So I have already exported this MySQL. Now I need to untar it. So this is the file is ready now. Now we need to move this file under the USR local bin sections. And then we change the permissions. We give the triple seven permissions. Okay. Now let's move toward the next sections. Okay, guys. So now I am going to create one of the user inside the database. This user help us to give the correct permissions on the DB so Prometheus can easily fetch all the database related metrics with us. Okay, so I have already installed, in my case, I have already installed the MariaDB here. And just now I'm going to log in inside that. So you, I, I hope you have already installed the DB or you just want to play with the this kind of setup. So you need to pre-install the MariaDB or the MySQL DB. So in my case, I have installed the MariaDB as we know that like MySQL has been occupied by the if I am not wrong, then it is, has been occupied by the Oracle, right? So now it is available as like the MariaDB with the name of MariaDB, okay? So as of now, let me show you, we need to create one user. So I'm going to select star from mysql.user. What I have been, select user. So as of now, we have these users available. Okay, so now I'm going to create one user and I'm going to give the name MySQL D exporter and identify and this is the password. 
this is the very simple password however i do not recommend you better you keep uh, some strong password here and since this is just for testing that's why i am just giving the simple password here after that i'm going to grant this user with the following permissions process applications client select on everything to mysql d exporter okay this is done now flush privileges and exit together so this database part is done now now we need to create one of the mysql d exporter.com file and here we are going to mention this address so basically here we are giving the user mysql d exporter and the password which we have said that is red hat and the host host of the your database and in my case the ip is 109 so i am saving it now and after that i am changing it permissions make sure that once you have installed the prometheus yes so you should have these users available and since my prometheus server is running on the same node that's why this user is available in your case if you haven't yet create you can create or if you want to install the prometheus yes on the same node then definitely you have to create it if you don't know how to install the prometheus yes on the centos then you can search the my uh, my uh, tutorial in the same playlist monitoring tool where you can easily find out that how to install the prometheus yes on the centos server okay so after that we need to create a system d file so we can convert this mysql ds exporter as a service So now I am going to copy and paste these contents inside the system D file, so I can use it MySQL exporter as a service. And here the web listen address, since I am running on the public IP, sorry, it's a private IP. So just I am mentioning that. It's also okay if you want to just allow for each and every IP. Like you can mention it 0.0.0. That is also okay. But as of now, just I am giving the specific IP address of my this particular machine. Okay. So now this part is done. Now since we have made changes inside the system device, so we need to do the daemon reload, and we can enable it as well. whether this is optional you want to enable or you want to disable it's up to you you can keep either ways and now let's start the service if everything will be okay the service should be started the service is started so now let me tell you one thing since we have configured it on this particular port number 9104 so we should get matrix on 9014 port number So you see that this is the MySQL D exporter. The matrix is listening under this, right? So these all are the Prometheus queries actually. So these all queries we can simply run from the Prometheus and we can check the matrix. So let's log in on the Prometheus server, which is 192, and it's already there 9090. If we go to targets, okay? So as of now you see that there is no target. there is no such target which is running on 9104 right so in order to make the target what we need to do we need to make changes in prometheus configurations file so it can start monitoring okay so we need to go under the prometheus file which is etc prometheus and prometheus.yaml and here we copy these four lines and then we come here down just make sure your indentation should be perfect because this is the yaml and here we can give the mysql mysql d exporter okay then it is running on the default matrix path so we don't need to define the customized matrix path and it is running on port number 9104 so we need to mention here 
9104. Okay, save it and restart the Prometheus server. System CTL restart Prometheus. It is restarted. Let's check the status. I think I have done something wrong. Let me check. So yeah, as I said that this is the YAML language, right? So we need to be very careful with the indentations. Let's restart again. Check the status. Again failed. What's wrong? Let me check once again. Okay, here. Let me just quickly fix it. This time it should be done. I think we are good to go now. Restart and data. Okay, so it's running now. Let's refresh it and we can see somewhere 9104, which is state unknown. Let's refresh, wait for some time. And now it is up. You can see that it is up and we can clearly see all the matrix. Okay. So let me open it in the new tab. So here we can see all the matrix and now we can simply query. And if we type here MySQL, so it will list all the details here. Let's come down, down, down. We are going to run some easy query where we can easily identify whether its connectivity is happening or not successfully. So let's suppose that I'm going to run a schema thread Execute is giving the value. Let me run some more command, some more queries here. There are a lot of queries, guys. I am not much aware about all these queries. So you want to, if you want to play, just go ahead and play with all these options. So I am just verifying that whether it is successfully collecting the data from our tables or not. So I am going to run this one, MySQL info schema table rows and execute. And you can see that there is a schema called DevOps and table is environment. So this table is already exist here. So let me show you. Okay, so if I go to databases, these are the database and I'm going to use one of them. The box show tables. So these are the tables. Then I'm going to select select everything. This ad is keep coming from ENB, right? So let's execute it. So there is a one column called div and under that the value is Java. Okay. So you can see that the schema is DevOps, right? The database name and table is environment. That means it is clearly proving that it is successfully uh, pulling the matrix from the exact this database. Okay. So in my case, I have used the MariaDB. However, MySQL and MariaDB both are the both DBs are equal. So now let's move to the Grafana side and we will fetch all these matrix inside the Grafana and we will see over there how it look like from the Grafana. Hey guys, so now let's move towards the Grafana side and see that I have already installed the Grafana which is running on uh, port number 3000. So those who don't know how to install the Grafana, I have already made the videos and you can go under the same playlist where you can find out how to install the Grafana on CentOS Linux. So this is my Grafana and where I have already added data source from Ethesius and I have already made video on that also that how you can use the data source, how you can add the data source inside the Grafana, so which you can find out under the same playlist. Okay, so if we go on this data source and if we try to uh, run the same query which we have run from here, right? So for that you need to go under the explore sections 
and here you can select the queries. Let me type the MySQL and I'm going to run the same queries which I have run from the Prometheus dashboard. So if I go here, the table rows and run a query and we can see the value here. You can see that, right? The job name is MySQL D exporter, schema is DevOps and table is environment, right? This is the same which we are getting from the Prometheus dashboards. The same we are getting from the Prometheus, uh, from the Grafna as well. Now let's make it more interesting by adding the dashboard. And for dashboard, you can go to the import sections. Guys, Grafna itself provides a lot of fancy dashboard sections, right? So all you need to do just import it here. So I have already chosen one of which looks pretty much fantastic. And it totally depends on you. You can go and search. There are many more dashboard available and you can choose as per your convenience. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. And I say the URL ID, okay, load. And after that here, I need to change the ID, which is 73, which is, let me show you where it gone. Here, we can take it 7362. So we need to paste here 7362. And select Prometheus as a data source import. So now you can see that it is saying MySQL uptime. So this DB is approximately up from last 4.4 hours. And it is giving, there are various options, various matrix. You can track it from here. Uh, so you just go one by one right and play with all these options so here you can see everything buffer size then mysql network traffic you can see mysql temporary objects so everything you can see here right then after that so this is one of the and you can save this dashboard add a note to describe save current variable values on the dashboard save it now you can see the same dashboard from here. You go to dashboard. Home. Right. And MySQL overview. This is one of the dashboard which we have just created. Right. So there are various metrics you can track it from here. So guys, this is all about the things that how you can uh, monitor your MySQL or the MariaDB with the help of Prometheus and the Grafana. So this is all about it for today. And if you have any questions, just feel free and write me in the comment sections and I will help you. Hey guys, so I'm done for the day. Please feel free to write. If you have any questions, you can directly ask me in the comment section. Please share your uh, personal experience also that how do you feel after watching this video whether I should improve in any other areas you can also give me your suggestions and your suggestion is always appreciated. So guys one more request please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and the colleague as well. So I will see you in my next tutorial till the time thank you so much for watching it you have a very lovely day guys. Stay